I am here with Tubby, Chef Brendan, and Martin, owners and chef at our favorite place, the Steam Pub in Southampton. Now, you guys have such a great thing going on. How many years has it been open now? Coming up on five years in July. Wow. Now, of course, we always touch upon this. Talk about the uniqueness of the actual building. Well, it looks like an old train car, so it was, a, it was built to look like that. It's, it's built on top of train tracks. Uh, so obviously we re-rolled with that theme it, with steam and the train and the engine and all that. Yeah, I love that. And also you guys um, kind of kept working on outdoor space. Now we're going into the spring and summer season. How's that doing? Uh, very excited. We, we have plans for an expansion on the deck. Uh, the Southampton has just passed the Rails for Trails um, thing, so they're turning it into a walking and a bike path. Oh so we have plans to make it, uh, you know, accessible from that path with a nice bike rack and all that stuff. We're, hope, we're hoping to see that by uh, March or April of 2018. So not only is the building itself really cool, it has a story, it's unique. You've got great live music on the weekends. It's just a great place to hang out on the weekdays and, and have a nice dinner or to go out on the weekends and dance your face off, right? But Chef Brendan, the food. I gotta tell ya, I mean, you guys, the burgers, the everything, the specials, tell me about it. Well, we're 90% plus Scratch Kitchen, so as much as we try to do in-house, we do. We get a couple of things to ensure that we can still cater to our, our gluten-free people and our vegetarians, so we're very safe about that, you know. Uh, we, we're lucky enough to win the brunch category, which we just started one year ago, uh, so one year anniversary, we get to take home a win from that. And uh, we got Mother's Day coming up, which is a big day for us. And we also got new menu coming in about two or three weeks. I feel like you always have new menus coming. Everything's so fresh and seasonal. Um, your drinks are amazing. But I'm sorry, I might have glazed over the fact that you won tonight in six categories and your finalists in five categories. And like you were saying, brunch is a brand new category for you. We love brunch in Bucks County. It's just one of the best things. It's a great opportunity to get together with friends or family. So you started brunch about a year ago. Tell me about the menu for that. So we started brunch about a year ago. Uh, Chef Brendan threw together an amazing uh, menu with uh, chicken and waffles. We got a lot of great sandwiches. Uh, the Big Daddy, which has got pork roll, scrapple, bacon, egg, cheese, the whole thing on a Kaiser roll. It's, in, it's insane. Uh, Everything, huh? We got $5 mimosas all day. Uh, we have a Bloody Mary menu with like four or five different Bloody Marys to choose from. And when is the brunch menu available? So it's 9.30 to 2 p.m. on Sundays. All right. Classic brunch time. I love it. And finally, we have to talk about these cocktails. I know you're a winner for Martini. What's uh, what's some of the new cocktails you got on the menu? Give us a little taste. Uh, Tubby came up with a with an amazing one. It's actually a bring back from uh, a, a little. We we retooled it a bit. It's called the Jack Sparrow. It's got um, muddled raspberries, blackberries. Blackberry, sorry, bunch you take this one. Take this one. I'll take this one. Muddled blackberries, bunch of rums. I like get a classic tiki drink. And then we top it with a, uh, a dried pineapple slice, 151. We light it on fire and it goes up. It's really good, yeah. So we it about three years ago and we just brought it back because people wanted it, so we brought it back. So in addition to the how many beers you have on tap? Uh, 103 right now. You heard that right, 103. No, on tap, 21, but 21. we're in building. But beers, 103. So if you're a beer lover, it's the place to go. But what I love about that too, because I'm a cocktail gal, right? And a lot of times you go to a bar or restaurant and the bartender doesn't want to make you a cocktail or they give you a fuss about that. That is the complete opposite at the Steam Pub, yeah, right? We have 26 specialty cocktails at all times, plus the Bloody Mary menu that uh, Martin just mentioned, yeah. And also, I feel like the bartenders all just really enjoy, no matter how crowded it gets, and it does get crowded on the weekends, you guys have a great following, but they're always happy to make you something specialty and fun. If you're going to be out spending the money, you might as well enjoy it, right? Yeah, they enjoy their craft. Oh. And I know you uh, you started the business wanting to be a non-pretentious beer bar, right? Would you say you're successful after almost five years? Uh, I I think we I think we've we've toted that line pretty good, yeah. I, you know that was kind of the the opening when I came to visit you guys the first time, but it's the beer, it's the cocktails, it's the burgers that change every week or so, right? And now it's the brunch. So congratulations on all of your wins and all of your finalists. Thank you again for coming to the bash. You having a good night so far? Great night, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations.